Hello, I'm Richard Hattersley, and I'm joined today by Simon Guest from Rising Practice Software Supply Nomismatolin, a little bit more about the suite and also to see it in action. So Simon, we've been suddenly hearing quite a lot about Nomisma. So when did you launch? Well, um, funnily enough, the most common reaction we get to a demonstration of Nomisma is uh, we can't believe anything does all that in one place, so it must be new. But in fact, um, Nemisma has been around for uh, over six years now, initially as an in-house system, and then latterly, uh, over the last 12 months or so, big investment to bring it out to the, uh, to the wider world. So I think it's a, it's a case of one of those things that's taken several years to be an overnight success. And for the software itself, um, what does the suite include? Is it just bookkeeping and payroll? Oh, far from it. Um, we've got a full suite um, with end-to-end -end client onboarding, uh, a value pricing tool, uh, company secretarial, anti-money laundering, uh, as well as final accounts and tax, and now also uh, mobile apps. Okay, well, the, the software market itself is kind of a crowded market, um, especially in terms of bookkeeping and payroll and tax and final accounts. So what is it about Nomisma that really stands out from the, from the crowd? Well, it's certainly true. There's a lot of software about for all these things individually, but what we're increasingly hearing from practitioners is it can be a little bit detached, uh, and also it doesn't always feel like it's built for them. And of course, the price can uh, quickly stack up. Whereas with Nomisma, uh, it is built for practice from the off. Uh, it's not a small business system that's been built out uh, or, or indeed uh, an acquired product that's been bolted on. Uh, it's there uh, natively and we feel you can tell the difference. Um, plus, because all the software I've mentioned is under the same interface, it all looks the same way, it all works the same way, it all shares the same data. And, and I guess where that's most powerfully apparent is with the uh, the bookkeeping and its automated uh, integration across to final accounts and tax. Well, we're all here today to uh, see it in action. So what can you show us to kind of illustrate what you've just described? Okay, well, let's uh, let's start off with this um, view, which is what you first see when you log in as a, as a practitioner. And this really is your whole practice in one place. So you've got a number of KPIs across the top there. Here on the left, we've got our, our list of clients um, categorized by entity type and then also by the services that you offer them. And over on the right, the deadlines aged over time. And the key thing here is that this is all live information. So if I click on any of these counts, in this case, I will see the limited companies for whom I do bookkeeping work. And even this isn't a static list. So if I click on any of these, this will take me straight into the bookkeeping profile um, for this particular client and I can start work. So just to illustrate though, if I go and have a quick look at some final accounts, payroll, self-assessment, it's all the same interface, same look and feel, same shared data. And that also extends to the, uh, to the mobile app. So um, let's have a look at that now. This is the app as it would be used um, by the client. So you can see the overview there um, uh, for your business as a client. You can raise sales invoices on the go. Uh, you can enter um, uh, purchase invoices, but we find practitioners prepared to uh, handle that themselves. Um, and you've got a list of, uh, of contacts, uh, suppliers and customers. Plus you can put in uh, uh, mileage entries. Um, but what you can also do is snap um, receipts. And all of this is immediately synced back for the practitioner in the browse wrap. So let's go back and look at that. Okay, so looking here at the um, uh, bookkeeping profile for the client, if I go into these pending receipts, this is where I would see uh, anything that's been uploaded. And I can call up one of these invoices uh, and then I can do a quick search to see if it's actually already in there, which in this case it isn't. So I'm going to add it in. And what we've just added in is uh, optical character recognition. So as you'll see, it's picked up a certain amount of the detail uh, and I just need to fill in the remaining details. So we'll put the expense type and the VAT rate. Uh, and there we go, that uh, invoice is, uh, is now entered. 
Well, thank you very much for showing us around the product there, Simon. But uh, the one final question is a big one. With uh, MTD on the horizon, I think the question on everyone's lips is, um, how equipped is Nomismo in order to help practitioners through that transition to digital tax? Um, well, uh, to be honest, um, MTD for ITSA isn't really a big deal um, from the point of view of most Nomisma users because the data's already in there. What they'll need for the quarterly um, submissions is actually already there. We're already uh, submitting MTD VAT returns. Um, so uh, we're just using data we already have and a channel we already use. Um, so there's no big change. Well, thank you very much, uh, Simon. Uh, please join us in our companion video where we'll be grilling Simon with some of the most frequently asked questions about Nomisma. So until then, bye for now.